Today I started the JavaScript module and I'm going to work on the first JavaScript project, which is Kelvin Weather. In this exercise, they're telling us there's a problem because all forecasts describe the temperature in Kelvin and they want us to convert to Celsius and Fahrenheit. Number one, you're going to create a variable named Kelvin and set it equal to 293. So constant Kelvin equals 293. Number two, you're going to write a comment above that explains the line of code. So you're going to write slash slash and the comment explaining the code below and just make sure it's relevant to the code so you and others can understand. Number three, it's asking to convert Kelvin to Celsius by subtracting 273 from the Kelvin variable. So you're going to create another variable called Celsius equals to Kelvin minus 273. Number four, write a comment above that explains this line of code, slash slash. So here we're converting Kelvin to Celsius. Number five, we're going to use this equation to calculate Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit equals Celsius times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. They want us to choose a variable type that allows you to change its value. So instead of const, I'm going to use let. Fahrenheit equals Celsius times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. And number six, you're going to write a comment explaining the code on line six, converting Celsius to Fahrenheit. Number seven, because you often get a decimal number as a result of converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, they're asking us to use a dot floor method to round down that temperature. And we're going to save the result to a Fahrenheit variable. So on line seven, I'm going to do Fahrenheit equals math.floor and the value here is Fahrenheit. Number eight, you're going to write a comment about that. So I'm going to comment using dot floor to round down Fahrenheit variable. Number nine, you're going to use console.log and string interpolation to log the temperature. The temperature is temperature degrees Fahrenheit. Console.log and you're going to use backticks, the temperature, and now we're going to use string interpolation. Number 10, run the program to see the results. The temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 11 is asking to change the value of calving to zero. So let's change here, zero. The temperature is minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 12, they gave us some extra practice. You're gonna convert Celsius to Newton. So we're gonna do the same thing we did for Fahrenheit. Let Newton equals to Celsius times 33 divided by 100. Use the dot floor method to round down the Newton temperature. Newton equals math dot floor Newton. And use console.log and string interpolation to log temperature in Newton to the console. Console.log backticks the temperature is Newton degrees Newton. Let's save. And now you have the temperature in Fahrenheit and in Newton degrees.